great big world Where do I go? How do I fit in? Gotta keep this one thing on my mind The maker of all the universe is on my side And if God is for me Who can be, who can be against me? Did y'all read those credits? I think my name was in there somewhere. <laughs> hey, uh, it's good to see y'all this morning. And uh, if you're wondering, if you're showing up this morning, you're like, what in the world's going on? It is Vacation Bible School uh, week here with the kids. And uh, we're actually wrapping up tonight with Vacation Bible School. And uh, we took the set apart just a little bit on the stage uh, this morning so we could get everybody in here. But, uh, um, and by the way, I should say, welcome to Grace Works Church this morning. We're glad that you're here with us this morning. And, uh, um, we have the kids in here with us for a little while. We're going to be doing some Vacation Bible School music in here so you can see some of the stuff that the kids have been learning this week. And they're going to actually going to lead us in worship this morning as well. So, uh, But one thing, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who put a lot of hard work into Vacation Bible School. And um, we've had a great team this year. And uh, we wanted to do a couple of recognitions besides the one that just went flying through there at the end. And uh, so I'm going to turn it over to Jan Moses here to uh, do a, a recognition. If you will, Jan, here you go. Ooh, I, I've lost my voice a little bit this week. Um, <laughs> I think that line roar yeah, just really, it. that yeah. it's a line roar, really took it from me. But we had a great week here. We're looking forward to tonight. But none of this would have happened without Jackie Swarthout. If you'll come down here, Jackie, wherever you are. And I have to tell you... This lady is, she runs it like a well-oiled machine. She is just amazing. But she didn't want any flowers. She made it, she said, do not do flowers. So I didn't, Jackie. It's just, <laughs> it's just a bouquet of gift cards for you, okay? <laughs> and thank, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Give Jackie a... Can we give everybody that worked stand up? Yes, everybody that worked in VBS, will you please stand? Everybody, everybody from our teachers to our has hospitality workers to our games to our crafts, uh, registration, it just, it, 
I always say it takes a village, and it took a village, and it took the village of Babylon this yeah, week. Yeah. So I just want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you so much. And you were wonderful, wonderful. And you know Jan did more than I did. So just be aware of that. These guys are a great team. Thank you guys again, and thank you for all who volunteered and, uh, and helped. And we, like I say, we got another night again tonight. And uh, I'm going to ask the kids, actually, we, uh, can I get the kids on the stage? It's your chance to come up on the stage. I know Elena wants to come on the stage. And y'all can, if the bigger kids, if y'all want, y'all can come down here. But I, the smaller kids, I may need to appear on the stage. Because we want to show you a couple of songs that these guys learned. You saw a little bit of it on the screen there. And... Um, We'll just get up here, and you know, I forget what the first one we're doing, Jackie, so you just go ahead and roll it, and uh, we'll get try to do some motions with the kids here. This is called Where Do I Go? Where do I go? Here we go. We'll just go right into our next one. This one's kind of maybe, I'd say a little reggae maybe is the is the style. And uh, so uh, y'all help us with this if you think you can. We'll do some songs that you guys are familiar with when we do the worship lineup. But for now, these are the ones they learned this week. Here we go. Looking out, it's a great big world. Where do I go? How do I fit in? Gotta keep this one thing on my mind. The maker of all the universe. Maker of all the universe is on my Here we go side. And this God is for me. Who can be? Who can be against me? God is for me. Who can be? Who can be against me? He is my strength. He is my friend forever. God is for me. Who can be? Who can be against me? Looking out, it's a great big world. Where do I go? Where do I go? How do I fit in? Gotta keep this one thing on my mind. The maker. The maker of.
Good job, guys. Elena makes up her own choreography here, as you can see, but you're doing a good job. So, hey, I want to ask you guys, and first of all, let me say again, welcome to, to Grace Works Church. If you're watching online, we had Vacation Bible School this week. Uh, so, uh, but if you're, if you're here with us this morning, you're visiting, thank you for coming here this morning. You are our special guest. And right now, I want to ask you guys if you would go ahead and stand up. And we want to do a little bit of time of greeting so you guys can get out there and shake hands. So go ahead and stand up. You can get around the room. Be careful if you walk in the front here. There's a blanket on the floor that the kids are sitting on. But get out in the aisles. Find somebody this morning that you don't normally find. Shake their hand this morning and tell them, welcome to Grace Works Church. And then we're going to all sing some songs together here in a moment. Songs that you guys know and that you can sing along with us, but they're going to be kids' versions of them. All right, guys, soon and very soon. Y'all sing this with us. song that you guys know, maybe a different style than you've heard before, but y'all can sing it with us. I'll fly away, so roll that whenever you're ready. And you can do some motions if you want. It goes like this. I'll fly
and we'll sing one more with you guys. We'll dial it back a notch a little bit. I know the energy's a little high this morning. So uh, welcome to Vacation Bible School. <laughs> Amazing grace. My chains are gone. Uh, Y'all sing this with us if you know it. We'll do some motions with it while we sing it. First verse again, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Thank you kiddos for coming up and help here give these guys a hand and you guys can grab a seat and these guys can grab a seat down here because i, I want to tell you guys about something this week um the kids have been taking up an offering in their vacation bible school and uh uh and the the the, the offering that they've been taking up is going to go towards a mission trip that we are doing to Peru. I'm calling it Peru Part 2 because we uh, we did a mission trip to Peru last year and um, the offering that they have been taking up is going to help provide a Christmas for these children in Peru and our mission team is going to be going down with uh, bundles of love and they're going to be going down with AMG and bundles of love and they're going to be uh, they're going to be purchasing the gifts for the kids in Peru, and then our mission team is going to be delivering them. So we have a little informational video for you kids, and this is what y'all are given towards. So if you'll turn your attention to the screen, you'll see a video real quick.
if, be sure to be a part of that July 9th meeting if you are interested in that trip. And uh, I want to keep going with our Vacation Bible School uh, stuff here. Now, this week uh, we have been... Uh, doing Babylon, and we've been talking about Daniel, and uh, the lion's den, and some other stuff, and, and uh, they're, the, I don't, I think that, that lion, I think, is gone, I think that lion's out of here now, you don't, you think, <laughs> that lion's here somewhere, you think it's back here, let me take a look real quick, no, I don't see it. So it's here somewhere, though. But, uh, but we've had a character this week, Daniel, who I think is on the menu for that lion. Uh, and Daniel has aged very well in the last 4,000 years when you see him this morning. Daniel's going to come up here, and he's going to uh, talk with us this morning. And um, he's, he's going to be a character for tonight. But I'm going to, is Daniel in the house? Where is Daniel? Oh, okay, here's Daniel. So, uh, Daniel, I'll turn it over to you for a couple of minutes here. Thank you. Well, good morning. My name is Daniel of the tribe of Judah, and I live in or lived in Jerusalem before I was brought to Babylon. And looking at your clothing, it seems that you may be from some places that my new young friends told me about. Uh, I heard some very new and very interesting words. One was, uh, let me see now, ten a uh, C. Uh, one was four O. One was Utawa. And the most interesting of all was chat a nuga. Does that ring a bell with you? Well, no matter. I'm so excited that the children came to visit me throughout the week because they believe in the one true God and they impressed me so that I scribed a few things that they shared and that they learned I want to share with you. You see, many, many years ago, King Nebuchadnezzar sent his soldiers to Jerusalem, my homeland, my hometown, and rounded up a group of young men that he perceived to be the brightest, the strongest, and the healthiest of the young men in Jerusalem. I was part of that group. And he brought us here to be slaves, and some of us to be his advisors. Now, of all the things I shared with the children that we had to do, we had huge changes. We had change in location. We had change in culture. We had change in our language. And the worst of all was the change in the food. I, I, it, we were to eat from the king's kitchen. I had never seen food of that nature because in Jerusalem we ate healthy food such as vegetables and water. But the most hideous thing of all, they had statues, idols, and they bowed to those idols. They worshipped them. That was the most distressing. One thing the children realized and I wrote it down for you they said when things change God is with us would you say it with me they did when things change God is with us one day King Nebuchadnezzar came in and in his usual deportment announced <clears throat> I am King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and I rule the world. I am the most powerful man in the world. If you do not worship the idols, I will kill you. I've had a dream, and you must tell me what that dream is and what it's about, or you will die. So my closest friends and I began to pray and pray 
And God put on my heart to go to King Nebuchadnezzar on faith and ask for a little time. I did so. And God worked through him and he said, you may have more time. So during this time, I prayed constantly, day and night. And God told me about the dream. I went to King Nebuchadnezzar and I said, you dreamed of a great statue made of different things, iron, brass, copper, clay. He froze. And I said, and here's what it means, King. It stands for the kingdoms that have been before yours. It stands for your kingdom, Babylon. And it stands for kingdoms that are yet to come. And, O oh, great king, you and your kingdom will pass away. The children learned when we need help, God is with us. Say that with me. When we need help, God is with us. Now, not long after that, I was gone on business for the king in a faraway land, and I was gone for some time. When I came back, I saw the chief of staff, who has become a friend of mine. He's the king's chief of staff. His name is Ashpenaz. And he told me, as he held this piece of gold in his hand. When I asked him what it was, he said, oh, it's a, it's a toe. No, actually, it's a toenail. And a, a toenail, he said, from the statue, the great statue. It's 90 feet tall. And we must, for the next 30 days, pray to that statue, or we shall die. We will be put into the fiery furnace. My three closest friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, were already taken outside. The king's instruments began to play, and that was the signal to bow to the statue. They, firm, they stood firm and brave and tall. And the king warned them one last time, you will bow to the statue. And they told the king, no, they would not. That if they were put in the furnace, God would save them. And even if he didn't, they trusted him and he would be with them. And you know what? A fourth person arrived and they were saved. They came out tall, strong, and not a hair on their head was burned. So from that, the children learned when we are afraid, God is with us. Say that with me, please. When we are afraid, God is with us. Afterwards, I talked with the children about being lonely. Even though that miracle had occurred, we still were just a few of us in this strange land. And they prayed. And the chief of staff, who has become my friend, watched us. And we prayed for him. The children prayed for him. I do so hope he comes to know the one true God. But the children learned this. When we are lonely, God is with us. Say that with me, please. When we are lonely, God is with us. The final thing the children learned was because I would not follow the king's proclamation. That for 30 days we had to pray to him, to the king, or we would be fed to the lions. He called me into his chamber, which he often does for advice, and he told me, he said, Daniel, you must pray to me and stop this nonsense. Even my friend Ashpenaz, his chief of staff, tried to talk me into that. I said, no, I am not afraid. I trust the one true God. Well, I was thrown into the lion's den, and immediately their roar stopped. 
and their mouths were sealed. They could not open their mouths. Rather, they walked around, around me, all through their cage and den, swishing their tails. Early the next morning, King Nebuchadnezzar had an idea. I know he did, that I might survive. He came and yelled, Daniel! And I stood proudly and said, I am here, O king. What a pleasure. What a wonderful thing that was. So he released me. And here's what the children learned from that. Because we celebrated that victory, we learned when we are thankful, God is with us. Say that with me, please. When we are thankful, God is with us. It has been my privilege and my honor to work with such bright, good character, strong and compassionate and kind children. You see, I'm old now, and my mission is to tell as many people as I can about the one true God. I hope you remember the five things the children now know and that you also understand it's our mission. Thank you. Well, I'm going to get the little kiddos to go with Miss Jen here, and uh, the other kiddos are going to, the older kiddos are going to stay in here with us, and uh, um, Tony's going to talk with us here in a moment. He's got a, Dan, Tony's going to be speaking a little bit on Daniel. He's got a hard act to follow because Daniel just spoke. So that's, you know, pretty hard whenever you get a follow-up that. But, uh, but I want to take time right now just to take time to pray and thank the Lord for something this morning. I want to tell you what I'm thankful for this morning. You can choose whatever you want. But I'm thankful that God allowed us to be here this week with these kids and did this vacation Bible school. I wish you could have been here every night and watched them as they quoted their scripture memory verses and just engaged in the music and everything else and watching the workers work together. I thank the Lord for that. I, the, just the time that we had here, I know that the Lord is the one who brought that together and I'm thankful for it. So this morning, if you'll bow your heads and close your eyes, just for a moment, we're going to talk to the Lord and you can thank Him for what ever you would like, but don't miss this opportunity, and we'll sing a song here, and then we'll get on with the service, but don't miss this opportunity. Sing this with me. Sing.
I speak on behalf of all your children this morning. What a privilege it is for me to be the mouthpiece for everyone in this room and anyone watching online, God, when I tell you, God, we love you. We love you. We love you. And we thank you for the gift of salvation that we have only through Jesus Christ. It is in Jesus' name we pray all these things. Amen. Good morning, everyone. One of my favorite parts of VBS is the music. Part of it's because I can't sing. But one thing I like about VBS, you have all these different motions. And so leadership said, Tony, you're not going to get up here with the kids and do this. You're going to stand in the back. So I was standing in the back when you were doing the motions, the music, and I was doing back there. Nobody could see what I was doing, but I did see what you were doing. And some of you are still kids at heart. You were getting into it. And there were some people in the back when we did I'll Fly Away. Man, they had some long wingspans, and so they were taking people out in the back. So you guys hold it down next time. I want to say my word of thanks. There have been a lot of people we've thanked, but there's one group of people I don't know that we've really thanked and told how much we appreciate, and it's you guys on the front. These are our older kids. And to watch you this week, when you got up and did music with the, the little guys, when you got up next to a brother or sister and you helped them learn the motions, when you came each night, even though there are a lot of people younger than you, you were here. And so thank you. Thank you for all the smiles, all the help. Uh, your church is proud of you. So thank you so much. When I was a kid many, many, many years ago, one of my favorite games to play was hide-and-go-seek. It wasn't the game where you were in the house playing hide-and-go-seek. It was in the big yard where you played. And my favorite person in that game was not the person that was chosen to be it. It was not the person that got to the base first. It was not the person that was being chased and uh, got away from the person who was chosen to be it. My favorite person in the game of hide-and-go-seek is the person that would hide. And they wouldn't come running in when everybody else came in. They would stay hidden. And when everybody got back to the base, they started to say, where's Caroline? Where's Caroline? And Caroline is still hiding. And everybody's having to search for her. She's found just the place nobody can find her. That's the kind of people I like, is with those that know how to hide and they stay hidden. Well, the truth that we've been looking at every single night, you remember? We talked about Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but what was the one thing we emphasized over and over and over? What was it? What was the truth? Gary just, or excuse me, Daniel just said it. God is with us. Doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, God is with us, and you can't hide from Him. And he doesn't hide from you. He's there always. And um, I want to read a verse, passage of scripture, one of my favorite verses and verses in a psalm. That it speaks about the fact you can't hide from God because he's always there. Listen to this real quick. Like I'm not going to say a whole lot, so don't worry. Those of you over in this section, stay with me. Psalm 139, it says, this is God's, or uh, the psalmist speaking about God. You know when I sit down, when I stand up. You know my thoughts even when I, I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never hide from you I can never escape from your spirit I can never get away from your presence if I go to the heavens you're there and if I go down to the grave you're there too if I ride the wings of the morning if I dwell on the farthest oceans even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support you here he was talking about the fact you can't go anywhere that God's not you can't get away from him and the very idea that you can't get away from him is he's not hiding from you. He's there with you wherever you go. 
This week, the primary character was Daniel. You've heard from our Daniel. And you've heard about his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And the theme, the idea that was constantly emphasized, God is with you. God is with you when there's change in the world. And grace works, God's with you. He's with you when there changes, when you move, change locations. God is with you when your family's, the family dynamic changes. God is with you when your health changes. God is with us. He's with you. And God is with us when we're afraid. When he's, a, he's there when there are things that come our way. When there are changes that take place, He is there. Even when there's something impossible, He's there to help us accomplish. And God is there when we need help. May we not try to do it on our own. You know, it's so easy, adults, for us to get real confident in our abilities, our experience. But we must trust in God. And He's there for us. And he's there for each one of us. The subject this week was not Daniel. It was God. We overlook the character in this book because he's not mentioned as much. It's God. And it's what God does. Of course he used Daniel to teach a lesson. Of course he used Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego as a lesson. But it's all about him. It's the God that's with us. And it's easy for us Christians to say that. God is with us. But do we live it? Are we confident that he's with us? This week, my prayer for you is that you'll realize, not only in words, but in action, God is with you. He hasn't left you. You may feel like it. He's faithful. He is there with you. Would you join me as we pray together? Father, thank you so much for this time we gather, this time we share, this time we hear from our children. And Father, we thank you for our kids. We thank you that you've been at work in them, teaching them, but also using them to use their talents, their abilities. Father, I thank you for the adults that have been part of this week. Father, I thank you for those who have given themselves, whether it's been in a classroom, whether it's been outside the class. Father, I thank you for your word and how it, it demonstrates, it teaches us you are always with us. And Father, whether child, whether adult, Father, may we always remember you're with us. No matter what we're going through, what we're experiencing, you're with us. And so, Father, we thank you, we praise you, we love you. And we pray this in your Son's name. Amen. Today has been a different kind of service, time of gathering. And adults, I appreciate you joining in and giving your attention and support to these young people. But at this time, we come together to worship and respond. Respond to his word, to the testimonies, to the ministry. And I don't know what or how God has spoken to you during this time. But I want you to take this time to worship and commit yourself to Him. May you decide, I'm going to follow you, God, this week. Wherever you are, I want to be. And so I'm just going to leave this time open for you to worship through song, through prayer. If there's a commitment you need to make, questions, pray. But use this time to respond to God and who He is and what we mean to him. Would you stand as we worship in song? Learned this one when I was a kid. Maybe at a vacation Bible school. I don't know. Sing this with me. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. turning back no turning back the world 
when you think about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the none go with me, I still will follow. Turned out pretty good for those guys. And uh, But this morning, maybe somebody came here this morning and you thought, this is the morning I'm going to join Grace Works Church. Or maybe you came with another decision uh, this morning and you wanted to talk with Pastor Tony. I'm going to sing at least one more verse here. So if you're sitting there holding onto the back of that chair thinking, I want to go say something to Pastor Tony, but uh, this is your chance to let go. And come down here and talk with him. You come on down, we'll sing a couple more verses of something. But listening to that first verse again, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. Say it with me. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. be seated. I was reminded when our kids were doing all these motions up here, how important that is. My daughter, who is now pushing 30, she went to school and learned motions to Bible verses, very much like our kids did. She had to learn Bible verses each week in school, and she knew them from the motions she did. By the end of her school years, do you know she went from memorizing verses to entire chapters of the Bible, word for word. So don't discount what's going on here. There's some truth that's being learned and placed in the lives of these kids. My daughter now is a first grade teacher in Nashville. And you know what she does with these kids that are struggling and learning? She uses motions and it sticks. The truth that these kids have heard about Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, don't discount the fact it sticks. And it makes a difference in our lives, and may it make a difference in our lives as adults as well. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support of our children's ministry. Thank you for those of you involved. And guests, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for joining with us in worship, and we hope that you'll come back and join us again get to know us and give us a chance to get to know you and uh, thank you to our Facebook audience every week we have people from all over the country joining us and worship through Facebook whenever whenever they couldn't be here they're here and taking part as well may God bless you this week and may you know God is with you and thank you all again for being here I um I know that our uh, we have some life groups in the room. I know the, the trivia life group. We have one that we we turn we were a trivia group and we turned into a life group somehow. I don't know if that happened, but it's fun. So, uh, but uh, I know that they've got something that they're going to be doing here after. But I've got two quick announcements for you. One is anybody who is willing to help. Um, we have vacation Bible school in here tonight, and so these chairs all the way up to that little gap right there. If they got stacked in stacks of, like, say, six, like, if you could just stack them up, that would be wonderful if you feel like you can do it, if you're strong enough. And uh, maybe the first uh, three rows over there, the same way in stacks of six, if you want to help. If you don't, just go on and grab lunch. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, and the last announcement that I have for you, and Jackie, I'm going to call an audible on you on a song here in a second. So, but uh, it's going to be the, the pre-service uh, instead, but if you'll go ahead and stand up here, I'm going to send you out and just let you know we have some offering boxes in the back. If you brought your offering with you this morning, uh, please uh, drop your offering in the offering box on the way out the door. And the audible I'm calling on Jackie, as I thought we might show that pre service slideshow again on the way out as you leave, if you're going to see some more pictures. But God bless you. Have a great day. Be thinking about us as we're doing this tonight. So have a great day.
great big world. Where do I go? How do I fit in? Gotta keep this one thing up.